Like to witness the peasants' revolt. Go on, give him a kiss. Dickon. Where's John? I don't know. You must warn him. Tell him soldiers are coming. They're looking for anyone that went to London with what Taylor. Tell him to hide. They've already been. They took him this afternoon. But he'll be all right. King Richard himself let us go free, and John did nothing bad in London. I haven't been told. John said he didn't want to talk about it. Not straight away. You should be told what happened. What John and I did. You remember that day the sergeant came to the village? John was in the woods, wasn't he? Getting into trouble. Hey, you! Come here. We'll ride round the back of the forest and cut him off. Important. But listen, I just heard. The tax collectors are coming. Thomas Baker was right. Thomas Baker's nothing but an old bag of wind. The tax collectors have been once already. They let us off. But where did you hear all this? At the Abbey? No. Yes, at the Abbey. go to the Abbey Fields then, did you? Well, they can do their own work for a change. Well, we have to work their fields. We've no choice. Well, what do we get for it? I work the Abbey Fields at least three days a week. I walk 12 miles to get there. They won't even let us stop to eat breakfast. What do I bring home for you? Nothing! Well, the Abbess gives us our land and this. I just want to work and be paid for it. We work for the abbess for nothing. We pay her to get married, we pay her when someone dies. It's a wonder we don't have to pay to breathe. But if I could pay to be a free man... You're dreaming. You'll never save enough. And anyway, since... since the sickness took so many, the lords want the freemen back on their land. But... And they're trying to keep the freemen's wages down. That's as maybe. But at least they have money for their taxes. If there is a new tax, what will we give? We'd have to give them some of our seed. Some tools. Well then, come the winter. That's why we're not gonna pay! Others who won't, we're not alone. And here, eat this. This morning I saw a pigeon. 
fat. Like that it was. Oh, another second of... Hello! Oh. It's only me. And there I was, thinking it was the Abbas of Barking. Joan? Joan? Well, you are allowed to get up, you know. So they didn't catch you, then. I don't know what you mean. You were running out the Abbey Woods. I was trying to find some wood to fix this wall. Here, if they catch up with you, they'll like it. Oh, this pigeon. Another second, we'd have had him for supper. Oh, you don't but... learn, do you? If they catch you hunting, they'll just, like, chop off that and that. And then how much use would you be? Look, I hate it as much as you do. The church owns us, and that's that. They make the laws, not us. Steady that. Thomas Baker was right then about the new tax. And everyone over 15 will have to pay again. Not me. Remember when they came to count everyone a few years back and took the names for the new tax? Well, I kept out of sight, so I'm not on the list. Thomas Baker was also talking about that preacher, John Ball. John Ball's nothing but a bottle-bellied chamber pot. Hold that while I belt it. Well, according to them, he said, here, that's my finger. He said, good people, all is not well in England, nor will it be until all property is shared and lords and peasants are equal. They dress in velvets and rich furs, but we have clothes made out of pole cloth. They drink wine and have white bread. All we have is black bread and drink water. They live in fine houses, or we have the pain and labour of the fields, and were treated like slaves. We must get rid of those who serve the king so badly. Like Chancellor Sudbury, who thought up this stinking tax. Yes! You chaw bacon, dick and trip it. As if my husband isn't hot-headed enough already. Talk like that will end badly. Do you hear? No, it's all right. You go on to the next Tax collectors. I'm, I'm not on the list. Well, then hide yourself. What's that smell? It's either us or our food. Do you like some? John Walk. Yes. And uh, Joan. Sir Thomas Bampton orders all villagers to meet with him at Brentwood. Oh, that's nice. What are we celebrating? His birthday? Taxes. That's what we are celebrating. Oh, last time he told us we didn't have to pay. He let us off. Well, you can tell that one to Sir Thomas when you see him. Well, what's it for, anyway, this new tax? To favour the French wars, and it's not a new tax. The last one wasn't properly collected, that's all. People cheated. Is that why the king had to sell some of his jewels? You carry on like that, I might have to knock some respect into you. Now then. Anyone else here? They've all got to be counted. No. Children? Dead. Oh. Right then. So, uh, there's no one else here, eh? No. Sure? Yes. Brentwood, tomorrow. It was you, wasn't it? I saw you when I was looking for someone to point the way to Fobbin. You were in the forest, stealing wood. It was only fire we were in. Oh, no, it wasn't. It was housewood, without permission. Well, be sure the Abbey steward will be told. Yeah. Who are you? A friend mm. of his. Oh, uh, here. Before you fill it in by mistake. No. Now, I told you, we're not paying. You may just live long enough to regret that. Now get out. I think the rest of the villagers want to talk with you. You heard him. Get out. I won't forget your face a second time. Nor yours. We must talk with Thomas Baker. We should take our complaints to the king. He's young. He'll listen. John! 
here. They're for you. You may need them. If you end up walking to London. Le chevalier Fubio et Quint, et pas sa valeur fou à Quint du duc qui bourgoin te noir, et sauve à There are hundreds of them. The carrying sticks and old axes. I'm sure they'll listen to your proclamation, sir, and go away peacefully. Shall I? Shall I go on reading, sir? Et sauve à loi et benoît. Sire, the peasants have. None of my proclamations grow more violent by the hour. Well, gentlemen, your advice. Well, my Lord Chancellor. Sire, I was lucky to escape with my life when they attacked my palace at Lambeth. They came swarming into the house. They broke my belongings. They set fire to my papers and records. They burnt all the papers in the law courts too, sire. They also say I'm to blame for the new tax law, and they're threatening to behead me. Yes, the head of my treasurer is also very much in demand. Is it not, Harris? Sire. Well, gentlemen, your advice. Oh, if only your uncle, my Lord Gaunt, were here. I should hope, sir, that the King of England, his treasurer, his Lord Mayor and the Archbishop of Canterbury might together be more than a match for a rabble of peasants come stinging from the fields of Essex and Kent. Well... Sire, the peasants have no armour. And nothing but a few sticks and rusty swords and axes between them. It's hot and they're drinking too much. By tonight, half will be drunk and lying in the streets like slaughtered pigs. With 200 good men, we could kill them while they're sleeping. They are not all guilty. I will not have innocent people slaughtered. Look, someone, a minister, should talk to them, listen to their complaints, yes, and then... promise them something will be done. Promise them anything, as long as they agree to leave. And who'll do the talking? Because they'll have your heads dancing on poles as soon as you set foot outside. I will go. No, 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 my people. They have come to see me. And I will talk with them. Then let it be in the fields at my end. Get them out of the city. Good. Have it announced in the streets. But, but, sire, I will ride with you. Sire, we... Both of you shall stay here. Tomorrow, when we ride out, you can go down to the gate by the river and escape that way. Oh, thank you, sire. Tomorrow, then. To my end. May God help us. But John and I didn't go to Mile End. What Tyler, our leader, told some of us to guard the tower. Well, the next we heard, we were to go in and look for Sudbury and Ailes. And the guards just let us. We couldn't find anyone. Then what Tyler came back. I've had a word with my little friend, the King. He's agreed to our demands and given us leave to deal with traitors. We go home, then. Some are gone home already. Happy with their little bits of paper. But I'm not finished yet. In a few days, there will be no laws in England, except those that come from me. Did you find Sudbury and Ailes? We looked everywhere, even in the King's chambers. My sons, you have come. I am the Archbishop that you seek, but I am no traitor. Take them to Tower Hill. So we took them to Tower Hill. We had to, we had no choice. It was strange. Sobri didn't struggle. He just knelt down, calm, like in church. Eight times that axe went into Sobri's neck and head before he died. 
They put their heads on poles and put them up on London Bridge as a warning. Then the King agreed to meet us again at Smithfield. In the fortnight to come, we shall have 40,000 more commons here. And we shall all be good friends. Why do you not return to your own villages? My lady, we shall not leave until we have what we come for. And the Lords of England will bitterly regret it if the wishes of these people are not granted. And what are these wishes? Some you've heard already. Freedom for all men. The right to earn a wage. To rent land. To hunt and to fish. No lords over us. Save yourself. The people shall have everything I can grant them. Abide the lord of the land. Give me water. That is no answer. And by God, you know it! You're not fit to be within a mile of your king. He's nothing but a common thief from Kent. King, I shall be your chief and your captain, and you shall have from me all that you seek. Tyler was dead. Some of us weren't sorry. So we did as the King asked and set off back to our villages. None of us were harmed. You see, King Richard had pardoned us for what we had done. And we've got charters to say that we're free. So John's bound to be all right. You will ride out to every village. You will take back these charters, which were not freely given. You will say this to them. Slaves you are, and slaves you will remain. You shall stay in bondage. Not that of old, but one infinitely worse and vile beyond comparison. I must go. Mm -hmm. Would John be back soon? Yes, yes, but I must go and hide. John. Oh, he's ready for you now. Uh, one of the soldiers will show you. Thank you. All right, come in. We're to confiscate anything useful. That stool over there. Right, and the other one. Oh, yes. And the cooking pot. You can said you'd come back, but I never believed him. I never believed him. Our next programme today in daytime on two is Zigzag, which sent...